a bit of chicken fries. Now, Maryland Pizza Spot is being recognized as having one of the best pizzas in the world. Rad Pies is a little stand in Williamsport that's near the border with West Virginia. The owners went to the International Pizza Expo in Las Vegas, which features competitors from 50 countries. They were really just looking to get tips on how to bake a better pie. Turns out they don't need it. Rad Pies ended up taking the top spot in the competition for best pan pizza. That's, a, Rad that's Pies. amazing. I yeah. know. I wish they were closer so we could try it. In the but, kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can get them to road trip to us. Right. To our kitchen. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Speak it into existence, people. That was a clip from our 5 a.m. show yesterday morning. Guess what? The team from Rad Pies did make that road trip. And this morning they are live in the Good Day Cafe. We've got the owner and World Pan Pizza champion, Kenneth McFawn. Good morning. And his uh, trusty helper here, Christopher. Just want to give you a shout out. Smile and look good. All right. What might look even better are these pizzas, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. So congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that. Well, what's so great? You haven't been in the pizza business all that long. We haven't. Um, we actually uh, opened Rad Pies during the pandemic, uh, <laughs> built a business plan out before that, and then COVID happened. So we were scheduled to open um, like right after the pandemic happened. The building was already built out. Business plan was done. Everything was already paid for. And we really didn't know what to do. So we were talking, we're inside of a brewery called Kushwa Brewing Company, mm -hmm. definitely the, b the best brewery in Maryland. And they were killing it. They were doing great to-go sales and everything. So they were like, why don't you guys just go ahead and open up? So we did. And then, we, and then our other location, the White Rabbit, we actually started doing pizzas there during the pandemic because our other food was not carrying out well. So I don't this want whole to thing distract happened you just because of actually that. making this best pizza in the world, by the way. Oh, um, for sure. So anyway, so you guys, uh, so this is one of several types of pizzas that you do? At, ra at Rad Pies, we do round pies and uh -huh. we do pan pies. Okay, but so you decide, hey, let's go out to Vegas, maybe get a tip or two on how to make a better pizza. Like, what did you think you needed to learn how to do? I mean, we went out there with the intention of winning. You did? Yes. Well, there you go. You're like the Tiger Woods of pizza making. I don't play unless I no, think I got a chance to win, right? Okay, so you go out there, but you're going up against 50 countries. I mean, you know, pizza from Sicily, Rome, Chicago, New York. I mean, Spain, the, Australia, yeah. Canada, France, everywhere, 100%. Now, when you saw the competition, did you, you were like, okay, I think we got a chance, or? And walking in there, and there's a bunch of actual world uh, past competitors mm -hmm. and champions that we're actually competing against. They have the chef coats on and everything. Oh, yeah. It was very intimidating. <laughs> I'm sure. But I'm then sure. I, saw, I saw the pizzas they're putting out. And after the first day, like, I texted some friends at home and I said, I actually think we have a chance of winning this. All right. So I know you can't totally tell your secrets, but the key to your Detroit style pizza here. Yeah. So we have two two main takeaways. The first one is we use a very high hydration dough, mm -hmm. which means it creates a lot of air pockets and it's the lightest and fluffiest thing on your stomach. So you think about eating a big thick pizza and you're like, man, that's intimidating. It's going to weigh me down. But the way that this dough is actually risen, it is the lightest thing on your stomach. So you can actually have a piece of this, get done and be like, man, that like I actually feel great afterwards. Is that a way for you to make me not feel guilty about eating the whole thing? 100%. <laughs> Fat free, right. sugar free. All right. And so Those you've been false. you've been good. I know. You've been cooking these here in our oven, which yeah, you say is actually, actually pretty good. Look. Yeah, this one's great. Oh okay, my. so this is our pepperoni crust we trust right here. It's going to need about 2 more minutes, and that's just a plain cheese on that side. Okay. So how long do you keep them in there? And you're now you're do people how many does this serve? Um I'd say two people. Oh, two people. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 